So we're going to uh, try and get round a little problem on the uh, rudder of this aircraft, uh, which is foam. We've got a twist in it. You can see there the straight edge running up the side, and uh, we've definitely got a gap at the top. Uh, the way we're going to fix this is to use a little bit of carbon fibre cut into the uh, edge, and we'll get it back straightened uh, on the straight edge, and we'll also uh, get it beautifully uh, rigid as well. You can probably see, looking straight down the back of the aeroplane, uh, there's definitely a kink on the top of the uh, fin, uh, which is the top of the rudder. In fact, uh, it was interesting, uh, the uh, manufacturer sent us a replacement one, but the, uh, the one that we got was exactly the same. Uh, we're actually going to do this uh, on the aircraft because it's actually glued on now. Uh, so I've just got a friend to uh, hold this while we make the cut and then we'll insert some carbon fibre and epoxy that in. Okay, so the first job is to put a little bit of masking tape down. Uh, the reason will become uh, apparent when we start playing with glue. So just a little bit of masking tape, not too um, heavy down there. Then we put the straight edge on. We then put a cut down at about 90 degrees, just a little bit to start with. And a bit deeper the next time. Real surgeon's job. Now there's something there, there's just um, obviously a, some sort of support or something. We'll deal with that in a minute. We're just getting this a bit deeper. Don't want to go right the way through and probably a bit of hinge or something there. Okay, and then the next thing we need is a razor saw. Okay, now we're just going to put that into the groove and we'll cut through that hinge. That's a bit of resistance there. Just being careful not to go too deep. And then what we want to do now is just open the uh, gap with the saw, just so we've got a bit of room for the carbon fibre strip and the glue. Okay, job's done. Now we'll uh, just check the carbon fibre strip and that should just uh, slot into the hole like that, which is perfect. Well, the Melbourne winter weather actually allowed us to go out for a fly this afternoon, so um, <clears throat> I was flying the uh, Trojan, really uh, enjoyable, and I've come back this evening and um, continue with our little project. So as you can see, the um, rudder is now well and truly clamped up with two pieces of wood either side and the trailing edge and the twist is all gone. Uh, we've got a nice straight edge on there. <clears throat> you can see now that the carbon fibre uh, is in the groove, uh, ready now to be glued. So I'll go and heat up a little bit of epoxy and then we'll uh, add a bit of glue to each side of that and press it in and uh, when it all dries, hopefully the job is done. Right, so we've uh, mixed up the Epoxy. I'm actually using 15 minute dry epoxy, just gives a little bit more time. Um, and the overall important thing is just to get a nice um, thin layer of the uh, adhesive. Uh, even after putting it in the microwave, it uh, must be cold in here this evening. It's um, actually already getting quite tacky and but anyway <coughs> we'll just rub it all along you'll notice one little tip is to uh, cut the carbon fiber just a little bit longer than we need then you've got something to hold on to um, keep the uh, dreaded glue off your hands so this is really going to make the uh, join very very strong uh, as you can see it's very flexible this way but rigid as the other way and that's what we want I have to uh, say a um, big thank you to um, the Hobby Man, our local hobby shop uh, in the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne at Fountain Gate. Um, we were discussing the particular issue, um, how to uh, get around this problem. Having um, received a second um, spur part with the same issue, 
uh, there wasn't much we could uh, really do as far as the manufacturer is concerned. Also, they uh, happened to be um, a long way away in America and the factories in China. Amazingly, they got a spare part to us in uh, just on a week, which is what they said they do. But uh, I haven't heard back from them since I reported the um, little issue with the second one having the same problem. <laughs> so uh, I guess one has to take responsibility for... Um, uh, coming up with a solution and uh, well certainly the <coughs> the hobby man um, via Adam uh, I think you cracked it and uh, for anyone else who gets into this little predicament uh, it's a way to get you flying quicker I'm really looking forward to uh, flying this um, uh, extra 300 I've seen it fly on YouTube it looks spectacular uh, okay, so we've got it in the start of the groove, a little nudge in. Get it going. It's, uh, the little stick is the best way to do this. Just easing one of in. And then all we have to do at the very end, when the glue is dried, is... Um, a little bit of the paint over the uh, carbon fibre and uh, we've got a clean, neat and tidy conclusion to our project. Okay, that looks about all there. All nice and rigid. <coughs> so we've uh, just about done the job and uh, oh dear, bringing the transfer off a little bit there not to worry we can patch that up again the main thing is that we remove most of that glue you're inevitably going to get a little bit of it but uh, we discard most of it in this operation then uh, Make it a lot better. There we go. So, just checking now that uh, yes, that's all pretty well flush. Uh, we're just going to have to walk away and uh, finish that off in the morning. Anyway, just to um, do like all good cooks, we had one previously done. This one is the uh, second part that arrived with the same issue. You can see there that we've uh, put that in. I didn't have the tape on this, so it's a little bit um, messier. But each time you do something, you uh, learn how to do it better. Uh, but anyway, with a bit of paint over it and uh, uh, maybe an odd transfer, it'll look pretty good. And uh, paint up and we're ready to go. You can see this one's absolutely beautifully uh, straight. Uh, there's no twist in the top, which we had. And um, yeah, this is rigid as. So um, anyway, there's the uh, completed job. And uh, for those that get in the same predicament, uh, hopefully this will provide a solution for you. Okay, well, that's uh, all for now. And um, hope this works for uh, other people who uh, want to give it a try. Uh, a great solution, we hope. Uh, the next challenge is to uh, fly this beautiful extra 300 from FMS. Looks absolutely superb. Beautifully designed looking model. I just hope my uh, flying skills are up to it. Thank you.